Hey, what's going on, guys? How are you all doing? Welcome to a new video tutorial from IPNews. Today, I'm going to talk about Node.js and what is Node.js and try to explain this in real more, uh, like in more real world examples. So, if you are new to web development or new to the field and you've been like hearing a lot of like Node.js and you've been wondering what is Node.js actually, and I don't know, just a, a curiosity, I was having that feeling when I just back then started working or learning about web development they started knowing what is node.js then i started d diving deep and deep and deep until i find everything i need so i'm just gonna today try to explain what is node.js briefly and why you should or why you should consider using node.js on your next web development projects and I'm gonna just get us started in the, the next like video tutorials on on this series of like making a, an example of frameworks and things like you can use a node.js so first things first i have like set up a di diagram in here to show you the best features or the most common features of node.js application so firstly if you just search google of what is node.js you are probably gonna get this like short sample short response in here node.js is an open source closed platform and javascript runtime environment for executing javascript code on the server side and this like google thing for my opinion or under my experience what is node.js is just it's much like in, in a programming language that you can use uh, JavaScript with so you use it with Java or JavaScript with Node.js probably and you can just create web server applications not real-time application or client-side applications and it gives you a large of sets of uh, of modules you can use right out of the box that's why I really really like it and a lot of other developers do like this one for specifically for modules and efficiency for that and for efficient fast and easy to get started with because it's very very simple and it's very easy to get started and set up a repository and just start working with it also for the large support community so there's tons of supported community just talk stack overflow put your comment or put your question up obviously there and you're gonna get thousands of solutions just search Google We're gonna find a lot of lot of other solutions for that also it is a single threaded and a non blocking IO and if you are a beginner absolutely that means nothing to you so single threaded just uses one CPU core to do or to handle the requests and like to, to, to handle things and for the non blocking IO and it means the inputs and the outputs which means rather than the other programming languages let's say for example C++ Node.js it's not gonna block the IO and out outputs or the input and output operations, which means when you send a request, it's not gonna wait till the request or the processing finished, then it's just gonna return a response. It's not like gonna work like this. It's just gonna receive the request and gonna do whatever it's it, it was doing on, on back then. So it's just gonna receive how much, however much request you're gonna send to but it's not going to like block them or block until the first request finished then receive another request and yada 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 it just works with a non-blocking input and output operations which makes it very very scalable and very efficient for like event driving applications and stuff like this and also asynchronous calls and responses with input outputs we have been working or we have been talking with this actually so asynchronous calls without refreshing the server or something like that this is the really cool with Node.js as, uh, as well and an event driving system which means that it's on based on event driving system so it emits an event and you check for the listeners on that event then you add handlers or listeners to the event that are gonna handle when the event uh, is being emitted or when the event is, is triggered then passing the data and all of this kind of things Node.js is based on that event driving system also it's shipped right out of the box with Ripple interpreter and we don't know what your report report is read evaluate uh, and uh, read evaluate prints and loop so you're gonna like a shell if you are familiar with terminal or linux shell or bash languages this is like the much work like this and just with javascript code also it's built on top of chrome versions 8 javascript engine and the optimized engine actually that's why it's really, really fast for web applications specifically so that was like the basic features of node.js and why you should specifically consider using node.js on your application so now we move on into the installation part of node.js if you are or if you don't have node.js installed you're just gonna go to the website node.js.org and select whatever language you are interested in or you into 
understand obviously uh, for me English then choose your own new version you want to use there's the latest version features here and the recommended for the most users since this it is recommended for most users so I really recommend going and installing this version in here just click download and it's just gonna download for your specific platform here on Windows x64 and just gonna do the checking for you and it gives you the right or the 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 right version for your specific platform you're running on when accessing this website so just you're not gonna take that much just finish that double click and install next 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 everything's gonna work fine also npm is not it it is actually going to be shipped with Node.js so you don't do anything rather than just installing the Node.js executable and you're gonna get npm installed in your machine as well so that was the basics uh, that you need to install everything you need is just install this executable in order to start development and obviously another thing is needed a uh, like a code editor for typing code i'm using visual studio code if you're interested in seeing my visual studio code setup you can go to the channel there's a dedicated video talking about this visual studio code or the code editor i'm using and why specifically i've chosen that code editor and in like not on any other other one so we've got into the editor of just very very basic projects in here so now first we need to initialize a project with Node.js or NPM in order to start working with it with Node.js. So all you do is NPM or run, make sure to run here a terminal. I'm using uh, the integrated terminal with my Visual Studio Code. So NPM and net, and you're gonna get like a questions thing. So you're gonna ask you the name of your repository and stuff like this. So as you can see the package name, wh what you want to name your application in here. Let's say like no dash add, make sure do not include special characters in here and why spaces in the version is here for, for example, 1.00 and hello word app. Uh, the entry point so from where the uh, the your application or is going to start executing and make sure to like set up the main.js file or your index.js from where application or from to let now no js from where to start executing it is main.js of course in our specific here and we have the test command for now we have no test command actually you can also add in your custom commands in here which is really really cool and the git repository if you are or if your package is going to be like published in git in github or some like git repository client thing so make sure to or like uh well or put your git repository in here for me i'm putting, just gonna put null and the keywords concerning your projects in here for something like let me just put node the author put your author or whoever you are for me stamp anyways why not the license i'm going to use mit open source license and this is like the configuration is, is going to be right in here as you can see it's going to be written into the package.json which going to identify our package or our node.js application so whenever you find the package.json that means it is initialized within node.js and this is like a node.js application so if no package.json exists then this is not a node.js application and node.js if you try to compile with node.js or something like that or execute with node.js you're gonna get like an issue node.js or package.json is does it not exist in your repository link so this is like the basic setup there's also another things like adding the scripts as i've said you can add your custom scripts in here and also the dev dependencies and the dependencies and what are the dependencies actually are like packages or modules you can download them from the npm we're going to talk about more in the for the modules and how they work and how you can install them and npm and why it's really important you know how to work with things or how to work with modules right out of the box with node.js we're going to talk about this on the next episode so stay tuned for that so for now what we're actually going to cover is the ripple so read evaluate which means which stands so let me just put this in here read evaluate print and loop so this is what it stands for and it's give you like much more like a bash or a shell so you can use it with node.js or like a quick thing to uh, execute on node.js you can all just type node uh, on any specific uh, directory not just specifically your working directory because this is like 
added into your path environment so just put node and boom the shell is going to be started in here and you can use it right out of the box so you put any code in here javascript code so let me just put let's or a variable me equals for example it's um pinos and put this like this is one or what is the return is returning the final since to return in nothing we can do console.log normally and we can log me and this is like the the variable is going to be saved on the session so me and you're gonna get the variable name and you can use this like five plus eight what equals and to give you the results right out of the box so this is like an interpreter for the javascript so you can use it right out of the box without any any more much more issues like this so that was it that was the getting started and like the basic installation and the basic setup of node.js and like the, what, what is node.js and why you should use it so we have just explained the basic things behind node.js in the next one we're gonna cover the modules and why you actually need to use the modules and how npm works and how why you need to use node.js or npm integrated with node.js so that that was it actually guys that was very very easy and very quick tutorial i will catch you in the next one